Odin, you need to not open that gate. What are you doing, Odin? I'm not supposed to open that gate. You helping Dada? You helping that Daddy? Wow, guys, I am so grateful right now. We got these yesterday. It's not so important what they were as to what they will become. Got a super great deal. So these are very solid pressure treated two by sixes with a coated wire of very, very sturdy, sturdy coated wire. We're going to get them sun cleaned and we're going to get them cleaned off because they are covered in chicken poop. These were the floors of a commercial chicken house in Rootfield, Georgia. And I have to say a big thank you to Robert at Daybird Aviaries for notifying me about these. He saw them on Facebook Marketplace. Just the materials alone, there's cross bracing, very, very sturdily built, probably 200 pounds a piece. And they were selling them for $10 a piece, guys. We got 10 of them. Merry Christmas to me and Ryan. Like, we both agreed we'd rather have this than any Christmas presents. So, he had to make two trips with our tiny little bitty trailer. <laughs> Love to have a big trailer someday. Anyway, got chicken in the background. I'm going to go see what she's doing. Probably laying an egg. But, yep, these are going to be something new in the future. Repurposed valuable materials here. We're going to use them just as is, but we're going to make them into something new. We've definitely been on an egg hunt, <laughs> free ranging. That was one of the reasons I gave in my five reasons why we don't free range video of why we don't is because it's like an Easter egg hunt. Uh, always looking for eggs. So we're hoping that our new materials will give us the ability to set up a better situation for the birds where they can lay their eggs. Um, and hopefully they'll use it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. But I have found three more nests out here of eggs. One of them was quite a bit older and did have some bad eggs in it, but the others have been in great condition. So I'm looking in our piles of lumber, which we need to get reorganized um, and cleaned up into better piles so that it won't have little gaps underneath where the chickens can hide um, and get them up off the ground so that they'll be in good condition for some of the other projects that we're wanting to do around here. It's uh, It's been slow in the projects lately just because we've just been doing our daily life and uh, daily life is, involves a lot when you have a lot of animals and you have homeschool kids and when you have a full-time job like Ryan does but we get as much as we can done when we can and hopefully we'll be able to start on a new project here real soon. You guys having fun? Yeah. yeah. What are you making? We're making yeah. our yeah. craft ornaments. Yeah. I thought I saw a hen over here, and looks like I was right. Four eggs for me. You got mud on your cheek. Yeah. What have you been doing? I have been playing with the mud. You too? Potatoes? Those are potatoes. Baby potatoes. Coming up right in the walkway. <laughs> All right, where are those carrots? Carrot, carrot. All right, you know what the carrot tops look like? Yeah, those. Yep, so you find the top, and then you look down at the base. Ooh. Do you see one? You see how big and round that is? Yeah, I think it's ready. 
You want to get it? Yeah. No, 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 no. If you just grab the tops like that, you're just going to rip them right off. So you want to go down and wiggle and twist. Ooh, this clay makes it really hard to get it. All right. I think I loosened it for you. Twist while you pull. Twist. Good. What did you get? Let's I'll see. Oh, man, that looks good. <laughs> now we just got to rinse it off and you can eat it. Yep. Let's look for some more. Got some carrots and potatoes and a humongous, humongous guy. And you just want more water. Today we are going through the woods and finding some jelly fungus, amber jelly rolls, and some dog ear, just whatever we can find to forage. Really it's just a good way to get the kids outside. They've been inside playing with their new toys so much because of all the rain. And they are loving it, playing in the woods. And as a bonus, I am getting plenty of jelly fungus to experiment with. Gonna probably do a hot and sour Asian soup and I might try doing some of the techniques where you make this into a candy. <laughs> it is windy. We are gonna be getting storms here in the next 24 hours. And you can totally feel the changing of the temperature. Right now it is really hot and it's gonna be getting cold really fast. So there is gonna be a danger of tornadoes. So hopefully we will stay safe.